Yes, yes, I know, hyphenation is kind of a good thing, but let's be honest, it's also kind of pretty evil. So in this quick tutorial, guys, I'd like to show you the different ways you can turn hyphenation off. So we've got ourselves a nice little blank document just here, pressing T to bring up the type tool. Let's drag out a nice big text box and then type fill with placeholder text. Now, if we zoom in on the right edge just here, sure enough, we've got lots of hyphenation going on here. So how can we turn this off? Well, I have the text box selected and we have the properties panel over here in the right. Don't worry if yours doesn't look exactly like mine, Adobe keeps updating this panel, so it's regularly changing. Now again, my text box is selected. If I scroll through here, eventually I'll find this option here, hyphenate. Fantastic, so if we turn that off, it does exactly what we'd expect, all the hyphenating disappears. Okay, so what happens if we were to drag out a, another text box? So bring up my type tool and type fill with placeholder text. And let's see what's going on here. Okay, we've actually got some hyphenation back. And if I scroll down just here, you can see hyphenation, hyphenate is back on. So you can see when we have a box selected, if we turn that on or off, it's on a per text box basis. Okay, so that could be a little tedious if we were having to add lots of text boxes and take greater control of hyphenation. Let me just do a quick select all and delete those. So what we want to do is we want to try and turn this off at a document level, the hyphenating that is. So what we need to do is have no text boxes selected and turn off hyphenation to make that the new default for our document. The problem is as soon as I do that, even if I press T to bring up the type tool, the properties panel isn't helping us out. We can't actually see that hyphenate option anymore. Luckily, there is the control panel. So if I go up under window and turn on control, this will bring back the control panel running across the top here. Now, Adobe seems to be slowly phasing this panel out as they introduce more uh, properties within the properties panel, that is. So you can see a lot of the functionality of the control panel is moving down to the properties panel. But you can see with the type tool selected, we actually have access to this hyphenate option just up here. Now, if you're not seeing that up here, you may be in the character options just up here. So you can see with the type tool selected, there are two buttons over here on the far left, the character options, if you jump into the paragraph options, you can see the hyphenate option just there. Okay, so you can see it's turned on. This is again at a document level because we have nothing selected. So if I turn this off, we should now have made that the new default for this document. Let's test it out. Type tool selected, drag out a big text box, type, fill with placeholder text. Let's zoom in on the far right just there and fantastic, we have no hyphenation. Okay, so that's great. Let's close this document and create a new document. And let's try that again. So if I go and grab my type tool, those of you with a keen eye, you might've already noticed hyphenate has turned itself back on. So if I was to go and drag out a text box now, fill it with some text, let's have a quick look. Sure enough, hyphenation is back. What gives? Surely we don't have to go and turn this thing off every single time we open a new document. Luckily, there is a way we can change the default at an InDesign level. And the way we do that is we make sure we make a change with no files open. So let's close this file. So again, we have no files open. Now you need to be very careful guys when you're poking around inside of InDesign with no files open because any changes that you make will change the default for that option moving forward. So again, no files are open. Let's go and find our type tool. Again, make sure when we are in the paragraph options just up here, there's hyphenate, let's turn that off. So we should now have turned off hyphenation at an InDesign level. Let's test that out quickly. Create a new document, grab our type tool, go get a big text box, type, fill with placeholder text. Let's zoom in on that right edge just there. And fantastic, we have no more hyphenation. So that's it there guys. If you want to turn off hyphenation at an InDesign level, just uh, turn that option off uh, with no files open. So of course you want to make sure with no files open, go and find the type tool, window, have the control panel open, jump into those paragraph options and turn that hyphenate option off just there. That's it there guys, I hope that helps. Catch you later.